Well, this is Vagabond Falcon wrenching number eight. Uh, the transmission leak still isn't solved, and now we have an overheating issue, which is interesting because we uh, we flushed this radiator twice and um, ran water through it and then drained that out and uh, put fresh antifreeze in, and you can hear. And we took it for about mm, five mile shakedown run and that temperature ga gauge went up and stayed up. I'm already thinking about engine swaps, like a complete drivetrain replacement, which is, sounds like sacrilege because this is the original engine, an original transmission, but how much do we want to try to keep, uh, how much money do I really want to dump into the original 144 straight six? Of course, it's interesting when then you think about a, like a 302 wind, like a 289 or a 302 Windsor uh, with a C4 transmission. And of course, then you have to replace all the running gear and do a bunch of other stuff. So I'm open to suggestions. And also, if you have experience with these old, uh, with these uh, Fords, with the Ford Straight Sixes, and you live in Eastern Pennsylvania, feel free to email me regularcars at gmail .com. I'm happy to uh, listen to any advice because, gosh darn it, <laughs> I need it. But it's been a lot of fun working on the car. I mean, it was a different style of driving back then, and even with the power it's making now, you can still get around. Uh, provided we solve this overheating problem. All right, the easiest thing would be aluminum radiator and electric fan. That would solve everything. But even though she has problems, she never ceases to move like a tractor engine. What a machine. Okay, yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know. Give me an email. Later.